So welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is gonna be a toolbox tour. So starting up here at the top, I have all my sockets. Most of these are actually just Craftsman because I got a huge Craftsman set when I first started out. Then, you know, I got some Milwaukee uh, 3 A's, um, hard impacts. Most of my extensions are again, you know, like, that's a little knockoff. Oh, Aries. Um, down there, and then I got Craftsman. This is literally like Amazon sockets for Audis. They were cheap. My main hand wrenches, though, they were gear wrench. I did do a lot of gear wrench. Um, for the price, I don't think you can beat it. Harbor Freight. That's a uh, gear wrench. Again, the one snap-on tool I got from a friend. So that's literally that. Over here, I have all my pliers, my sockets, my stuff like that. I do have a nip picks. Uh, I thought this was like the best you could get for those those uh dikes. Um, Husky. Most of my stuff again, just basic. Um, cheap stuff because again I didn't want to get anything too crazy because I didn't know how long I was going to be in the industry for so And also the other thing too the idea of something breaks buy more expensive you, you would have a heart attack right if you lost your snap-on Like tools, so that was my thing because if you ever lose one you'd freak out uh, When I went to Audi I had to start getting the triple squares and stuff and again I went cheap because I knew I was getting out by that point so I went cheap, but I needed stuff to use on the daily that wasn't gonna break. But again, there's a difference buying cheap and buying like the Chinese stuff that's you, like you know is gonna break. Like my, my grandpa had some of that stuff. You really throw it away, like this, right? Like this, oh, actually this is, this is AutoZone. Um, but again, like see how, like that's just a cheap wrench. But again, it's a brake line wrench. And again, I only have that because I lost the other one. Um, gear wrench, I have a CDI, I do have a snap-on torque wrench. That's down in the garage down there. Uh, I'm not gonna, I might do a video on that if y'all want, but that's just like a little service cart that's down there. Harbor Freight, this one's amazing. Um, I love the extendable wrench. If you guys want, comment down below if you want to see any tools specifically like in depth. Then these are all my, in, I have all my impact sockets, half inch, and then I got all my uh, chrome. Also, I, I know I'm missing this one because I used that to get off a lug nut at one point. And then down here I have a slide hammer. This is uh, actually just junk. That's a, a thread, some of the thread, not thread. Harbor Freight, these are the best for the oxygen sensors. Again, so cheap. That's a brake, uh, this is the ball joint service kit and that's the brake one to so service the brake pads. And again, yes, they're cheap. But again, how often, especially starting out, this will get you by easily for a few years. Um, and then if you want to go up more expensive, that's a ball, uh, that's a bearing splitter. Oh, actually, I do have one more. I lied. These are blue point. These are the, these are amazing for getting lug nuts off. Hammer those on, get them right off. Those extraction sockets are amazing. Come over here, I have, you know, again, this is my um, Astro. Astro, whatever you want to call that thing. Oh, inflator. And then Craftsman wrenches. Again, this is like, who uses uh, SE anymore? SE. So, and then this is my gear wrench. Then I got, these were a joke. These didn't actually end up working at all. I got those at like AutoZone or something. These are the, buy these. If you do any sort of brake lines, get the gear wrench flex. If you guys want, I'll link this. If you guys want more videos like in depth on an exact tool, I'll do that. Um, Cause again, you, especially starting out, you don't want to overspend on tools. Air lift is a must have. Um, then I got like a o OTC. I got an engine. So I got the compression tester, and then I got a, a valve leak down tester. Uh, that was just to put on some bearings one time. And again, a lot of this stuff, right, these specialty tools, if you know you're not gonna use them all the time, why buy the expensive ones? Some of this stuff I bought for personal use that I was doing here at, at this farm. Uh, oh, <laughs> I was doing the valve seals. So, uh, that's just that. This, this is another one. 
the Lang. I think this is like a what Matco rebrands theirs as. And then I do have one more blue point. This was to get off oil filter wrenches for used it at Chevy. Um, that was an amazing one to get. Then I got my oil sockets again. These are like fake ones. I mean, how are you gonna break an oil socket? Like uh, motive. I mean, these gear wrench ones are the, such a gimmick. I, it's just like, oh, don't don't buy those gear wrench things. They're such a gimmick. It's not even funny. And then go up here, just more ratcheting wrenches and stuff like that. And then the last order is my wrenches. Um, that's it. And then screwdrivers. Good luck finding one, but they're in there. Nothing except electrical wiring and stuff is in there. I got my big ridge impact that will run a Milwaukee battery because of the adapter plate. An old one I just got because there's a sweet deal on it. This is actually a Harbor Freight ratchet. And the AC Delco one, they both share the same battery. So I was happy about that. I bought this and this and got me the combo set. Um, even though I think that's probably better. This fits in more places. Uh, Air hammer, never actually used that one. I had another one, it broke. Again, you buy cheap, sometimes they do break. The OZM and stuff like that. Actually, this is a uh, blue point. That is a tire gauge. Uh, that's a soldering gun, that's drill bits, you know, wrench your, that was just at the farm, I just threw that in here. Pittsburgh, quarter inch, torque wrench, large pry bar, Harbor Freight, these are also snap-on, they're actually blocked. Like some stuff I did buy snap-on, but again, it's not even really snap-on. And then over here I have, these are the Harbor Freight Automotive car jacks. And they're absolutely fun. Uh, that's, a, that's a great buy. I got a fuel inject, injection cleaner kit down there. Got a couple jack stands, got my oil uh, funnel for GM. The battery tester, uh, brake bleeder. Uh, this light is total junk. Actually, if you go to lights real quick, one of my favorite ones, and it's not in the toolbox. See, that's my problem. Like, you start like losing stuff when you like get through a fit. Um, it would hurt. But I was gonna say I have a Milwaukee light. This is a Milwaukee light because I didn't want to buy a snap-on one. Absolutely love it. Uh, this one battery powered. All you have to do is twist off the top and you can put it on the USB charger. And then like you're good to go and you don't, anyone who tells you you need anything crazy and oh, buy Snap-on, buy this, you don't have to. I have, I might have 10 grand tools. And again, some, some people say I don't, some people say I do. So one more tool that I used while I was at the shop, I had this OEM oil extractor. This was perfect. Uh, we used it at Audi. Um, obviously GM, you just put it in the air and take it off, but that is a good thing to have. And then I also have a 3 Ace Milwaukee Impact. I have a stubby, but I'm pretty sure I lost that <laughs> entirely. Um, the Milwaukee stubby was uh, such a beast. I literally don't know where I, I put that, so that might be gone forever, unfortunately. And that's kind of expensive to lose that. I do know where my 3 Ace is, just don't know where that one is. But again, long video. That is the tour of my tools. I do have some more, but if you guys really want to see that stuff. But more importantly, if you want to see an exact tool and what it is, I'm more than happy to do that because I, especially starting out, I wish someone would have told me that I could have done this um, without me having to go off doing this on a tangent because so many people rolled their eyes, gave me dirty looks, talked down to me about what I was doing. But at the end of the day, this is at a house that I don't even live at. So, um, th these tools, when I get, I have a townhouse right now, so I can't store my tools there. But when I do get that, like, then I can put my stuff there. But that was my idea. I, if you, in the, that's the other thing too. Starting out, if you don't know 100% you're going to be in the industry for five years, what if you get in for two years and you're like, I don't want to do it no more? You don't want to be tied up. Some guys just in their toolbox have as much money as I just have in tools and my boxes combined. Like that's what I find crazy. So that's why I love doing this route of what I did because you're not tied to the industry if you don't want to stay. And again, right? If you want to upgrade one day from your gear wrench to your snap-on, go ahead and do that. Those guys that say, oh, I don't want to buy a tool twice. That sounds foolish. You can go sell that gear wrench. 
you can go sell it. Or guess what? You have it for at home. And that's the other thing, right? Don't you want some tools at home also? Because this, I love doing this stuff. This, my hobby now is <laughs> doing mechanical stuff. And I love doing it. I like it. How about fa friends, family, uh, anyone that needs it? I kind of do it a little bit for my business. Like I'll do oil changes with that oil extractor. But that's about as far as I go with my clients for mechanical stuff. But again, long video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Uh, comment down below any questions you have. Again, if you want to see the, a specific tool, please comment down below. Thanks for watching. I'll also put some of the links for some of the tools in here. I'll put in um, at the bottom. Again, just keep asking if you want a specific tool. I'll put the link in there so you can find it. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.